What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a lazy Sunday here on Let's Mess with 2K16 Universe Mode, which might be the last one of these for a little bit, as I'm hoping to jump into Here Comes the Pain tomorrow. So kind of nothing that I do here today really matters too much in terms of moving any of these Universe Mode feuds forward since I'm not going to be doing it tomorrow or at least that's the plan. So that being said, let's actually skip over this rivalry match with uh, a skip here and that heats up because okay it heats up sure and then we'll go into match six here and go back into the magical edit button and we'll do something different today. All right, I hit the random button a bunch of times for a six-man ladder match, and here are your participants in that six-man ladder match. Let's just kind of screw around for a little bit here on today's video, because there's not much uh, wrestling news to discuss. Obviously, we are on the cusp here of one of potentially the biggest or most changing... Most changing? That's not a thing to say. That's uh, the most significant changes in a while for professional wrestling, and did I actually choose a guy here? Am I actually playing as somebody? I don't think I am. I don't think I actually joined this match, therefore I can just put the controller down, I guess, and spitball some nonsense for a few minutes, and then move on with the day, because obviously I got more videos to get done. Uh, I'm still kind of tweaking Here Comes the Pain uh, emulation settings here and there. So that's still kind of a thing right now, but what I, I was going to discuss a little bit was the potentially uh, scene changing. I keep thinking of the wrong words here. Scenario? No. Um, the potential for the landscape to change completely going into SmackDown being live and the brand split, etc., etc. Those are kind of, you know, the thing at the forefront of, of my mind, and certainly uh, for those of you who've been watching for a bit i've i've said that yes i will at least for a little bit do raw reactions on tuesday and then smackdown reactions on wednesday now that i actually have to watch smackdown which i haven't done in quite some time like usually if there's a good segment or a good bit i'll go look it up on youtube or daily motion or whatever you know but in general uh i've ha i have better uses of my time than to watch smackdown uh, when it was a taped show where nothing important really ever happens. So, having it be live and having it be a distinct roster is the most significant thing there because then there are going to be guys that I like who are only going to be on SmackDown and therefore I'm going to have to watch SmackDown. So, that's kind of... I seriously doubt they'll fill SmackDown with a bunch of... with, with all the guys that I don't really care about watching. So, I... they're, they're going to split the, you know that roster up and you know most likely they're going to keep you know some of their big top guys separate so if uh they want to keep you know roman reigns as their next guy the guy which they might not at this point considering his suspension and everything else but one would imagine you'd have Ro roman reigns on on one show as like the head and then john cena on the other show as the head and that's why i guess what you build your roster around? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how they handle this draft on Tuesday, because they're going to have like an hour pre-show before SmackDown, which I'm probably not going to watch, on the network, and then an hour post-show. So that's like, hey, here's all the guys that you're not going to see on that two-hour SmackDown, because you've only got two hours. And the other question there is really, how many guys have they actually contacted to bring back who are not currently on the roster? Because you're going to fill out two distinct rosters, and two distinct touring brands, and you need bodies. Now, I'd seen a rumor that they might be bringing back more enhancement talent, a.k.a. jobbers, and that we could be seeing more job squad squash matches in the near future, which, if you're, if you're trying to build guys up that are lower on the card, like, look, you need to have a mid-card, right? You can't have, like, if you actually want to build your mid-card to eventually be higher on the roster... Then you have jobbers. Those are your opening guys. Then you've got mid card. Then you've got the main event. Right now, it seems like it's all mid card and then main event. Like, and most of that mid card just loses matches. It's all like that 50 50 booking and shit, which is the most frustrating thing in the world. Go, Cena, go. Um, guys, are you paying attention to John Cena here? There you go. 
This is a crazy six man. Um, so, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they handle that. It'll be interesting to see how many guys, and the rumor was like, like eight or ten guys, they're going to call up from NXT. So, one would imagine having just seen Finn Balor lose to Nakamura, kind of, you know, just on a TV show, not even on a, a special, just on a regular show, like not on a takeover, uh, does that mean impending Finn Balor on main roster? Does, it mean, does that mean we're going to see Finn Balor on, on Tuesday as part of that draft? That is a very um, important question to ask. Will they call up Samoa Joe? I would imagine maybe not yet, only because he's defending the belt against Nakamura, I believe, at the next um, takeover. So I got some neighbors here, and this happens at this point like once or twice a day, and it's like their car alarm is set on the most paranoid bullshit ever, and I'm assuming like a squirrel touches it and it goes off, because... I live in a pretty goddamn safe neighborhood. I'm on a dead end street, and this car alarm. This is just just started in like the past week. This fucking car, and then you know they go and hit the button and 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 turn it off. I've been here for like three years, and I've never heard a car alarm until this week. Fucking fix your shit, you assholes! It's really obnoxious. Certainly when it's going on for like five in the morning. So. Maybe it's a maybe it's a faulty car alarm. I don't know. I'm assuming that they, they they have it set on super fucking paranoid and like you know a thing will like a leaf will just fall onto it and it'll go off. Turn that shit off, you dumb motherfuckers. It's the worst. It's the worst. I've it's woke me up woke me up at like five in the morning and like I I at some point need to call the homeowners association. And be like look, these motherfuckers in this neighborhood with this car alarm are just you can't even like. Seriously. Anyway, wrestling. It's really annoying. Wrestling. Um. So, how they're going to handle the actual draft on Tuesday in terms of how many guys? Like, are you still going to have matches on that SmackDown? Is it going to be all draft? Like, I'd like to see it set up like an actual draft for real sports. Like, that would actually be kind of fascinating in terms of how, how they handle that. But will they or won't they? Perhaps on the pre-show and the post-show. But on the show itself, maybe not. That's, that's, I guess, you know, remains to be seen. We need to know, you know, what's going on with your belts. Are you going to have two world champions? Are you going to have two tag team champions? Are you going to have two women's champions? Somebody just got busted open. It might have been Christian. Like, there are so many unanswered questions here that is what I find the most exciting because when wrestling is at its best, is when you don't know what's going to happen. And there, I think at this point, from what I heard, a lot of the talent doesn't know what is going to happen. So this should be either amazing or an absolute, complete and total shit show. And here goes Cena once again. What are you doing, Cena? If you're going to win, just, just win. If you're going to win, make it a win. He's very confused about where the fucking ladder goes. It's really, it's really funny. The only other news bit that I, I did hear uh, is that they supposedly have signed Ibushi to a NXT deal, which is interesting only because he had done an interview recently where he's like, I'm not quite done doing shit in Japan, which people inferred to mean that he wanted to fight the cleaner, Kenny Omega. That's kind of the one like high pro high profile guy that he has not fought yet in New Japan. Can Triple H do it? Can Triple H do it? Can Triple H? Here comes John Cena. Can Triple H do it? Cesaro. Holy shit, that was vicious. An electric chair onto a ladder. Holy shit, that was vicious. This match is a complete and total clusterfuck. I can't even call a winner here. Like I legit, what are you doing, Christian? I legit can't can't call a winner here. It is it is too hard to call. Why are all the ladders out of the ring now? What's what's going on here? He threw it out to bring him back in. What are you what are you doing, Triple H? What was the point of that? What was the point of that, Trips? 
I don't understand. And now Macho's throwing it back in, and now Shane's gonna throw, throw one in? Like, what? What is even happening here? Go for it, Macho Man! Go. What are you doing? Yeah, so this is a... Shane is broken. Holy, look, look at Shane! Look at Shane in the back there! He's broken. He's staring at the audience, holding a ladder, and just, he's frozen in place. Like, when I say this game's broken, I don't mean it like in an overall, oh my god, this game's like the worst game ever. I mean this game has issues from time to time that are sometimes, there goes Shane, sometimes infuriating, and sometimes just straight up, like, glitches that don't make any goddamn sense and are often hilarious. And, you know, if you had a more competent... It's, it's not that if you had a more competent developer, it's that if your developers had more time. Because they're forced to make games year after year after year after year after year. There's no break. And most other video games, you don't do in eight months, you know? You do them over the course of two or three years. That's kind of the, you know, ideal for video games. And that's why games, like actual sports games, like Madden, you have more than one team. And so your teams will leapfrog year over year over year. And like Call of Duty has three teams. So they get a full three years before their game comes out. That is the ideal situation. Unfortunately, given that there's no real other competition for wrestling, you kind of have Ukes doing it every year. And so you're only making these little incremental upgrades every year. Um, because that's all you, that's all you fucking had time for, to be honest. So, I feel bad that they kind of don't have time to make a much better wrestling game, because there's, no, there's just not enough hours in the year to do that. So, I have to... Macho Man, what are you doing? Why do you keep throwing ladders out of the ring? I should I, I should have... Restarted this match and have myself playing it because this is just going to be a complete shit show. And perhaps a complete shit show is the best way to end this let's mess with universe mode on just just balls to the wall what the fuck is going on. Like that might actually make a lot of sense in some respects. But also this, 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 this video has already gone pretty long so I might just have a jump cut here because I have other videos to make. And if I sit here and keep talking for another 20 minutes, I'm going to have no fucking voice for the rest of the week. The Cerebral Assassin. There's nobody in the ring. Here comes Cesaro. Can he make it happen? Can he make it happen? Yes, he does. The game went... Cesaro almost fucking fell off that ladder. Holy shit. The game wins the match like 25 minutes later. Holy shit. Anyway, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. Let's mess with 2K16 Universe Mode. I will make every effort tomorrow to bring you episode 1 of Here Comes the Pain Season Mode. So stay tuned for that. But until then, and until next time, and as always, I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!